Shalom and Mabuhai, everyone. Today, I want to talk about someone who passed away yesterday. A singer named Meatloaf, which is not his real name, of course. Like many, I was a casual fan of Meatloaf. I enjoyed several of his hits, and I even saw him in concert twice. But because I was just a casual fan, I didn't really know that much about him personally. Well, of course, now that he's passed away, uh, all of this information about his personal life is coming out. And what I'm hearing is actually pleasantly surprising. According to one report that I read this morning, Meatloaf was staunchly in favor of letting people make their own decisions. Now, that might seem commonplace to you and not even worthy of mention, but in the entertainment industry, free thinkers tend to be frowned upon. This news story said that Meatloaf was against the COVID lockdowns, the mask mandates, and the vaccine mandates. Meatloaf said, quote, If I die, I die, but I'm not going to be controlled, unquote. Now, I don't know anything about Meatloaf's relationship to Christ, but this is something for us Christians to remember, especially me. I am calling myself out here. Far too often I am controlled by fear. I make decisions out of fear, or I fail to obey God because of fear. And you know what that leads to? Sin. If God tells me to do something, and because I'm afraid I don't do it, that is sin. Now, I haven't fact-checked this, but I have heard that the admonishment to not be afraid appears in the Bible 365 times, once for every day of the year. And that's apropos because I need to remind myself of this every single day. One other point I want to make is one of Meatloaf's biggest hits was a song called I Would Do Anything for Love. It came out in the 1990s, and, and no doubt you've heard it on the radio. And this song came out during a time in my life where I was terminally single. Uh, it was difficult being a single Christian male in the 90s, uh, particularly one that was child-free. I can't imagine what it's like now, especially for child-free Christians. I'll talk more about that later. And I remember at the time, a classmate of mine said, that title doesn't make sense. Y you can't earn love. Well... Agree to disagree on that one, but as a single male, I could identify with that song. One particular line resonated with me. I'm lonely. It's all I'm qualified to be. Maybe you can identify with that sentiment as well. I know for those who are seeking a romantic relationship, being told that God already loves you, especially by somebody who's already married, just doesn't quite do it for you. And look, I get it. I've been there. You can ignore this for now. You probably will anyway. But please don't forget it. Even if you don't act on this information right away, can I please just ask you to keep it in the back of your mind? God offers unconditional love. The love of God is the only unconditional love that there is. Keep that in mind. Thank you all again for watching. Maraming salamat, part of the support, and may God bless you.